Hey everyone, welcome back with another session of social studies. I hope you all are doing well. So today we'll start a new chapter that is natural resources. Now when we talk about these natural resources, what are these natural resources? Now firstly you see, though early humans they lived amidst nature, they were unaware of the utility of the gifts of nature such as rocks, soil, minerals, natural vegetation and animals. Now as time passed, they learned the techniques to transform these gifts of nature to items they could use to make their life more comfortable. Now it was then that these gifts of nature became resources. So what are natural resources? Now many things are found in nature as I said so some of them are directly used by us whereas some of them are processed to produce various utility products. Now these things are called natural resources. So if you see a natural resource is something found in nature that people can use to meet their needs. Further, like these are art materials used to support life and meet the needs of people. Now, any organic material used by humans can be considered as a natural resource. Now, if we see for examples, oil, coal, natural gas, metal, stone and sand, all these, air, sunlight, soil, water, all these are considered as natural resources. Now, Water, soil, forest, wind, sunlight, minerals, animals, all are natural resources. Now these resources are utilized every day. But children, in ancient times people did not know how to use these resources. They were unable to convert them in the, into useful products as I said. Like gradually, slowly and steadily, man learned to use these resources wisely. How? Because in the ancient times there were no proper education, there were like no technologies, no industries, factories, there were no skilled laborers who could like work out these things. So that's why they couldn't utilize these natural resources into useful products. But gradually, slowly and steadily human beings learned to use these resources. But however, if you see, some countries are still rich in natural resources, but they still remain poor and backward. Now, this is because they lack the knowledge of utilizing their natural resources. And they are still unaware of the technologies of using them. So that's why proper education, skill, efficiency, technology, all these things are required. Okay for utilizing these resources into finished goods. Now next we have that is the classification of resources. Now natural resources can be classified as renewable and non-renewable resources. As you can see the chart here and some examples are also given. Okay. Now one by one let's see. Now first we have that is the renewable resources. Now what are these renewable resources? Some natural resources are available in plenty in nature. Now, for example, if we see water, sunlight and wind. Now, these resources will not get exhausted. They can be used again and again. So, such inexhaustible resources are called renewable resources. So, renewable resources are those resources that can be replenished or renewed naturally over time and as you see examples air water wind solar energy all these are renewable resources and these resources are available plenty in nature and they will not get exhausted so easily so we can use them again and again all right and the next one we have that is the non-renewable resources now some resources are available in limited quantities in nature now for example metals and fossil fuels so they will get over if used unwisely so if we continuously start using them so a time will come when they will get over we will not get them now the resources which cannot be immediately replaced 
once they are depleted are called non-renewable resources and if we see for examples of non-renewable resources it includes fossil fuels coal petrol and natural gas and some other metals different types of metals okay now why like if they will get over why like uh, there are chances of uh, like getting over like they take millions of years to form so that's why once it gets over it will take a long time to like get renewed so that's why it is said to utilize these resources judiciously so that we can use for us and also we can conserve it for our future generations all right so that's all we have in these sessions and in the next session we will uh, discuss about the use of natural resources and the conservation of natural resources so until the next time bye bye